Welcome in and welcome back to the channel. Now this German woman is being called a trick by this woman for catering to her husband. Some women from America actually called me a pick me, stupid, ugly, and the bottom of the barrel just because I want to cater to my husband and what? see him as a trophy. Well, let me tell you something, ladies. If you see catering to a man as oppressing and disrespectful and degrading to a woman, plenty of other women from other countries will cater to the average American man that is not good enough for you and that you supposedly don't want. By the way, I am not the only non-American woman who just enjoys catering to her American black husband. There are plenty of us over here. I just happen to be the one who actually is sitting in front of the camera and is speaking up about it. And ladies, if you want to have the privilege to be the woman of the household one day, to be in a successful, long-lasting, loving, caring, supporting, and providing relationship, make sure you skip the mindset that the woman in the next video has. Because if you have her mindset, she's talking about a video that I had made a couple of months ago and in that video I talked about how I treated my boyfriend back in the early 2000s when he came to Germany and visited me. Let him know, look, I adore you. So femininity had nothing to do with it. You was just a trick. It's easy to get a man when you foot in the bill. You, you fly him out. You buy him everything under the sun. You cook clean and pop pussy. Honey, that is called hospitality and competing for your man. You see the way the man looks? He's a 10 out of 10, at least to me. And I know that there are a lot of women out there who like the way my husband looks, you know? I just know it for a fact because I see women looking when we are out together. But long story short, and what I really wanted to say is, hospitality is something that a lot of women need to apply into their relationship again. Because what is wrong with being nice to a man? What is wrong with competing to a man? So yes, he came to Germany and I showed him everything that I could. I covered all of the bills. You know why? Because he was a guest in my country. He was a guest in my country and I wanted him to be as comfortable as possible. So right from the beginning, he didn't have to pay for anything. It's called hospitality and competition. You found an average black man. That's what you call him. An average black man from America bought him any and everything he could possibly want even things he didn't think he wanted you wait on him hand and foot and you had the nerve to come on here and say it was easy because black women don't do nothing we ain't doing that let me know in the comment section, everyone, if you agree with the following statement. The average modern Western woman just doesn't want to put in any effort into a relationship. They don't want to put in that work in a relationship. They don't want to contribute what is necessary as a woman in a relationship. They don't want to invest in a man. And I'm not talking about that financial investment. I'm talking about emotionally and mentally, okay? And whatever needs to get done at home. Instead of that, you have all these women running around and all they want to provide is themselves, their body, their looks. Which is the reason why many of these relationships don't last for a long time. Because there is no deeper level of connection. There's only a connection on a physical intimacy level. That's it. There is no deeper connection than that. That's why you, at some point, are not going to be better than the next piece of ass that the man is attracted to. Because your looks are going to get boring. But what never will get boring is how you treat a man. But when us women can comfort a man on an emotional and mental level, be loyal, respectful, nurturing, and catering, sooner or later, and I promise you this, that man is going to start caring about you on a whole different level on a whole different level. I'm sure some women who have actually applied this will be able to say that in the comment section if any of them is watching my content. So therefore, if you only provide your looks, another woman that's going to come into his life who may end up looking better than you is going to have his attention. But if he can connect to you emotionally, that's a whole different level. Believe it or not, us women have the power to turn a good man into a better man. And I know that a lot of women felt triggered by the things that I have said, but at the end of the day, it kind of seems like that you are mad at the fact that women like myself have a happy relationship. We have what you don't have. And I don't say this to attack you. I'm just saying you can have what we have. It's really not that hard.
right? So women like myself, we enjoy catering to our men. And at the same time, we can enjoy the benefit of being the woman of a providing man, of a protective man, of a guiding man. And I will not stop stressing to the world and especially to you women that there is nothing wrong with an average man. An average man deserves respect too. An average man, just as average as you are, deserves a daily cooked meal too. He deserves that you take his towel into the bathroom right along with a fresh pair of boxers and some socks before that man comes out of the shower. Have you ever done that before? But instead of that, a lot of women have the audacity to say that catering to a man is a trauma response. Excuse me, but catering to each other is the beauty of a relationship. And I can sense that a lot of you have never been in a real relationship because you continuously run to a toxic man and then you get treated like shit and then you are in the circle that is full of toxicity and you cannot get out of it. But when you're staying in the circle and you refuse to be receptive to new information, to be kind, to be soft-spoken, to be catering, you cannot expect different results. I'm not saying not for you to go out there to get your degree and your career. It is a good thing. Actually, it's a must. We have to stay educated. That's a must. But at the end of the day, you can still be submissive. And do you know how much of a flex that is to have a nice degree, to have a good career, to make your money, but also be completely in your feminine energy? And let me tell you, everyone will pick up your feminine energy when you go anywhere you go, they will pick it up. And then you will attract the right type of man as well. There is nothing wrong with being kind. Smiling is for free. I mean, you have all these women running around with a bitchy attitude, negative energy, and the only thing that they know how to smile at is their phone. And you mean to tell me that there's nothing wrong with that picture? You're doing too much. It's giving... Why would why would any one of us want to subject ourselves to that? No, honey, you are doing too less. And she really said that it's giving slave. But here is what she doesn't understand. I don't get any orders. I do everything that I do, not only for my husband, for everyone in my family, naturally, because that's what I have learned. Ladies, understand this. Us women have a strong intuition. We have the ability and the power to sense whether if our man needs something or not. You know how it is when you are running your slick mouth and you can tell by your man's body language that he's about to go off and you are thinking about the words that's going to come out of your mouth next. You're thinking about whether if you should say it or not. That's the type of energy that I'm talking about. But in order for you to develop this ability, you have to stop thinking about yourself only when you are in a relationship. A relationship is not a one-way street. So the way you learn how to read your partner is to read his body language, to observe that man, and figure out what he wants. If you don't know what he wants, you can talk to him. You know, just like you are talking to him in that disrespectful way that you do sometimes. You can switch that energy up and ask him, hey honey, are you comfortable? Is there anything that I can do for you? After you have went somewhere that your partner may be new to, you can ask him afterwards, how did you feel about it? Was it okay for you? Is there anything that we can do differently next time? You know, a relationship is a process. But I understand that a lot of you haven't been in a relationship to the point that you can actually see it as a process, something that is ongoing for a certain amount of time. And to all lovely ladies out there who pretend that they don't need a man because they are just so strong and so independent and they have everything going on for themselves, I will believe you if you are able to show me a society which has been built and maintained by women only. Because until then, honey,